coming in hot like an asteroid. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Go Control. I'm Sean Sensational, and I'm joined here by Todd Riffick. Tonight's segment is the High Five Top 5 List of the Week. <laughs> our topic for this evening is our top five favorite comic book movies of all time. Booyah! You go first, brother. Oh, nice. I Bring it in first. hot. Let's see. Hmm. Like an asteroid. Oh. <sighs> yeah. I would go number five, Crow. Five is number crow. <laughs> five, 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 five number five, five is crow. crow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it going. Number crow is five. Fix it in post. Fix yeah. it. <laughs> number crow is five. So the reason why I like the movie Five is uh, the reason why I like I like the movie Five. Now it's not. No, I guess it's number five. Yeah. Movie is five. It's five. Yeah. No, the crow. Okay, so the crow. Okay, so, so we got. The oh crow. no no. Let's, we should just lay it all out. Then we'll choose. Then we can like get into it. Oh, so you want me to just say everything? Say Let's do okay, it like so, that. All right, so because I'll, we'll be here for like five hours. Yes. I can get, I can, we can get ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so I'll go. I'll do number four. So number, number five, is five is the crow. Five is the crow. Four, four, I would have to say Logan. Damn good one, Logan. Four is Logan. Three cool. is Spider Man Homecoming. Interesting. Yes. We'll get into that yes. in a second. You're damn right. Yeah. Okay. Number two, uh, the uh, Batman. Batman, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, Batman. Yes. Okay, I, I'm digging that. I love that. And I, hold on, I'm really afraid for okay. number one. <laughs> if Batman is number two. It better not be another type of Batman. It better be like <laughs> Superman or something. Go ahead. Green Lantern, 2011. Yes. No. It's yes. Not. I knew it. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds' finest performance, everyone. Finest performance. <laughs> not true. But um, hey, did, hey, did you know that the director of Thor Ragnarok is in there? He's the guy with the glasses. His friend when he's like. Boom! With the light. Oh, really? Oh, no, that's the, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, that one, that, I forget his name, though. He did, like, um, in the shop. Anyway, number one. The Dark Knight. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. What is with you? Oh, God, okay. you guys suck. It's so much dick. No, okay. Not anyone that, no one that loves um, Batman. It's just him. Yeah, I mean the Dark Knight. No, nah, it's a great movie. I can understand. Now, I just I, I will I will say this though. With all these movies that I I just picked, these movies change. It, it does. I mean, I have I have multiple movies that will slide into the top five. I have multiple movies that will slide into the top one one or two. You People know? want to see that beautiful face. Oh, wait, is it is it two? Am I going? <laughs> We're not, we're, 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 not doing, we're not doing we're not doing the opening segment. Oh, my, my the bad. music video. Here. Oh, Prince. Oh, but. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's just it, those right now. Since that question was brought on to me, okay, hold on, wait, wait. Moment. After, like, let me do my number five, and then we'll tear into that crappy ass number, the top five oh, right there. Question. This is the best top five right here. No, okay? it's not. <laughs> I already know. I hate you. It's the greatest. No, it's, it's not. It's the greatest. I'm just gonna start right now. <clears throat> number five, X Men First Class. That's mine. All right, that's a good one. That's, see, I told you. I like that one. Okay, we'll get into that in a second. All right, because oh man, I could start. Yeah, but that can slide into my top five. Yeah, there you go. And, and yeah. Depends. Yeah. yeah. Number five. Number four. Constantine. That is, I'm on the fence with that one. That choice. Nobody I, cares. Stay on the but, fence. But, while I'm gonna stay on the fence, but I'll explain why in a second. But go ahead. Number three. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. That's um, not one. <laughs> it's not Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> Bone saw is ready. Hey, freak show. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I can go on forever. I love Macho Man. And that was that was kind of a shitty um. Inter imper 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 impersonation? Yeah, imper impersonation. Yeah, that one. That word. Yeah, that word one. of the day. Yeah, word of the day. Impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that, am I even saying that right? Yeah, you're okay, saying okay, it right. I'm tired. Dude, I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, number three, right? Yeah, three. Okay. <laughs> number three. I would have to go with Batman. And number three. And number three. The original with Michael Keaton, the uh, real Batman. See, I had not, not higher with the best Joker ever, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, we'll get into that later. Number two, The Crow. Okay. Brandon yeah. fucking Lee. That's all I gotta say. I, I like. That's We're gonna get into that one too. So, hey, so actually, Brandon Lee and Michael Keaton has just tear, tore through this entire top five period. Yeah, and actually, Michael Keaton made two, twice, twice on it. So, and number one, jump roll, please. No, well, Drum roll, please. I'm afraid of what you're going to say. Daredevil! Woohoo! Daredevil! 
Tear the booties. Hell no. <laughs> He's better as Batman, and I've seen a lot. Okay. Oh, yeah. But um, no, number one has to be, and I'm not joking. Thor. I knew it. Thor. I knew it. I'm gonna exp- I'm gonna defend my number one later. Oh, let's go God. into um, let's engage in a in this top five conversation. Okay, let's start with um, okay. What did you have? I had the crow, and you had the crow at number two. And you had a number five. I had a number. Okay, five. let's go into that then. Go right. now. I don't. I, the thing with the crow is that you could slide that in any number. I'm gonna be honest. Real it, quick, if you hear a lot of yelling all around, it's because there seems to be a lot of fighting going on downstairs. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. But we might. We have neighbors. We might take the camera downstairs. And yeah. We'll go for oh, the shots that, that's a rumble, royal rumble right there. So you have the crow. You have the crow at number two. I have it at number five. Okay. And I don't think you're wrong at picking at number two. I could have easily slid that up to number two. It's just that movie was so good. Like. It was. I, I felt it was ahead of its time. It was. I mean, it created like uh, I know we have talked this before. It created a whole culture. Yeah, created a whole culture. Music, style. It's stylistic. It had it, a oh society like the goth, the goth, goth society. It's gothic. Yeah. Um, <coughs> even Sting. It went into wrestling. It, it went, went into wrestling. everything. It went everywhere. Yeah. But the, that was Brandon Lee was just starting to get to that A list, top A listing spot in Hollywood. He had all these other movies that were really good. All these action movies that he had were really fine. But this one brought, I felt, his acting, his acting out because he had to not only act as a, like a cop, mm-hmm. like he was doing in some of his other movies, or a detective, or someone just kicking the crap out of someone. He had to bring emotion. He had to bring sadness. Something you've yep. never really seen in other Brendan Lee movies. And I felt like he really raised the bar, and I, he was just right at his potential. Yeah. And, and what was tra- tragic about that? Apologies. No, no. It was his father, Bruce Lee, and him, Brandon Lee. Mm-hmm. It was their breakout role that put them on the map, literally. Yeah. And they died. Both died. Tragic. Some say it's a curse. Woo! I don't know. It happened twice. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. And then it's, it, was, it was a great movie. So you had a number two. I had a number five. Well deserved to be in well, the Well, let's, let's jump in. Another thing that we had um, together. I had number three. You had number two. Number two. Pretty close. Pretty Michael close. Keaton. Batman. Yes. The greatest Batman and Joker ever. <laughs> now, like I said, my, my movies could change either way. I can easily put Batman up. I, I'm digging that. Change it right now. No. <laughs> I can easily put Batman ahead of my Dark Knight. Yeah. No, I, but I, I understand. Let's give you a bust your balls. I like the... <clears throat> I like the Michael Keaton Batman, and I like the the Batman Joker, my, uh, Jack Nelson. Yeah, it was it was good. It, they had their own for that time period. Style. It was perfect. It was perfect for that. Just time like period. Heath Ledger was perfect for this era. Yes, period. Yes. I was just I just busted balls. Heath Ledger was phenomenal. Yeah, and the way I feel right now is like I watched. I just got through. I guess I watched The Dark Knight recently, and I guess how I have to put it at my number yeah, one. Yeah. I love The Dark Knight Rises though. Yeah, I do. That's an honorable mention. I do like that. Um, it, Michael Michael Keaton was just watching him in Beetlejuice, and then watching him Phenomenal. in it, Batman. It's it, it completely changed. He can he changes his his yeah. acting style. Yeah. And then to see him just be Bruce Wayne into Batman, it was oh. he he was cool. It was yeah. like you could tell he had a multiple personality. How it's supposed to be exactly. Yeah. Like, like he, I, I mean, people he totally might, switched. He, yeah. Switched one character, <clears throat> he switched his character. Mm-hmm. You know, he's Batman, Batman. He's Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne. And yep. the problem with my number one pick was Christian Bale. He was Batman and Bruce Wayne all the time. Swear to me! Yeah. He had the hiss. <laughs> There's no way in hell you don't know that that's Batman. <laughs> he, he, I liked him as Batman. I did. I liked him as Batman. But if I was to choose the, my favorite Batman, just the Batman alone, not the movie at all, it would be Michael Keaton. Yup. Yeah, you is. know. Yeah, it, I'm Batman. Yeah, he's just he didn't have to do much to be Batman. Yeah. You knew he was Batman, just sheer appearance only. And yeah. even his Bruce Wayne was good because his Bruce Wayne, he was kind of brooding all the time, but he also was kind of smooth and kind of quirky. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like even quirky even yeah, even Bruce Wayne was complex. You know, when you look at um all the other Bruce Waynes, they're either trying to be a playboy. I mean, don't get me wrong, Christian Bell still was good. Oh yeah, he, he was, was great. Yeah. But like I said, um when when I seen him as um Bruce Wayne, 
I kind of, at times, I kind of got up. I mean, he was always, you know, depressed and I understood, you know, what happened with his parents and so mm-hmm. forth. But I, I really think, too, sometimes I felt that he had that American uh, psycho feel. Yes. You yeah. know, I was, I'm glad you brought that. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, wow, you know. Which was that? It was a good movie. It's a great movie. Did, yeah. Okay, um, let's talk about, <clears throat> well, Spider-Man Homecoming, Michael Keaton made it again. Yes. Great. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, that one's, again, Michael Keaton was another bird. But yeah, and, yeah. And, <laughs> something about wings with so this really, guy. But he he also it. played the Birdman. Yeah, which is which, oh you know, yeah, another but, great movie. Which another was another. He played a great villain. Yeah, he did. He played a really good villain. And the thing with this villain though, is he like, really he, wasn't a villain. Yeah, he was know? doing it for his family. Yeah, it, because it, he never, the first thing they're doing that nowadays is like I'm doing this. I I'm, I need money for my family. I'm doing this for my family. Yeah. You know. And like, the twist with the daughter never seen it coming. No, that was a good twist. Good man. That was a good twist. I, it, it, I have nothing cool. against African American girls. I should know. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> we love them all. We but are not prejudiced. Women are women, man. Women are women. And his Absolutely. daughter is hot. In a non creepy way. <laughs> Fix that in post, buddy. <laughs> let's cut that part out, huh? No, that's not. Let's keep that in. <laughs> no, don't listen to the, the frock oh. to the right of me. Oh my god. But you But what I like most about that. And yes, Michael Keaton was a big part of it. Is I liked Tom Holland as Spider Man. Period. That I'm, I mean, Michael Keaton number two on that, but Tom yeah. Holland number one, best Spider Man ever. Love Tobey Maguire, but he was an adult. Yeah. This is a kid who's not even American. He's from London. He's British, right? He might be. Yeah, British. Dude, New York accent. When the fuck were they gonna keep it in the New York accent? And on top of that, they kept him in high school where yes. he gets to stay. Yeah, he, it's he, homecoming. You start in high school. You stay in high school for a couple of years. Yeah. And then you break off into your What's the other one? Or Far Off or something? Or, I thought it should have been Abroad. Spider-Man Abroad. That would be oh, cool. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the third one, got to be Spider-Man Graduation. Finish the trilogy off. <laughs> he just goes off. But a great, a great. I mean, he, he's acting as superb. He fits the part. God, I just wish they had him since the beginning. Yeah, that would have would have been way better. But it's still a great movie. I mean, I'm glad they finally got the Spider-Man right. Yeah. I mean, I like the other ones, like The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. That, that was cool yeah. for what it was. But this one, n- Marvel, yeah. nailed it. Yeah. And Logan, real quick, just to jump into that, you know, because oh. we want to keep this um, um, as short as possible because we've been about five hours with this. Yeah, we can. But Logan, on. another great movie. I definitely that, can. That one goes up and down on I my count. I had that in my number four. Yeah, no that, one, that one can definitely go up and down with mine. because it was just the best. Um, I mean, it was dramatic. It was gritty. It, he got to do what the Wolverine he always wanted to do. Thank goodness. Uh, for uh, Ryan Reynolds opening the door, Deadpool really yeah. opened the door for him to Rated do what he wanted to do. Yeah, has that great tone, that really look of the movie that has that um, country for old men yeah. feel. Sicario, keep it going. I forget the other one, something over high water. But you know, if, if you watch the movie itself, like look at the background, look at the scenery, look at everything. Very simple. Very simple. Oh, Not a lot of CGI. Not only and heartbreaking with um, Patrick Stewart, yeah. great acting, you know, I love oh, yeah. that. Um, never get to see Professor X like that, and it's like, but here's the best part about that. What's her name? X twenty three or something? Yeah, like X twenty three. Dude, what is with these kid actors nowadays? They're, They're getting phenomenal. Good. Yeah. Ever since Six Sense on, it's just been they've been pouring them out. This woman, this young girl who's gonna she's gonna be a young lady soon, they need to keep her. Yeah. And carry it on with her. Yeah, she needs to be in the X Force for sure. Absolutely, like, dude. Like, she was intense. I was like, dude, that's his daughter, and you kind of find out it's not. Yeah, like, oh man. Well, she was. There was the. It kind of is her daughter. It, it kind of is her daughter. His daughter. Her daughter. Sorry, his daughter. <laughs> we both can't talk to him <laughs> because they use his genes to create. Yeah, it. yeah. You know, I so, think so. I'm not sure, but I, I'll take his word for it. But the the movie was great. Yeah. I mean, it was in like three different sceneries, yeah. and that's all you needed. Yeah. It was in the city briefly, and then he ends up. In the desert, most yeah, of the movie, yeah, great, and then in, in the woods, yeah. which was it was awesome. It had that kind of um, dealing with the issues of the border. You notice that it did, yeah, for that time period because yeah. it was dealing with that. <laughs>